Hello and welcome. Pope Francis is using the papacy to do and say things that our Governor General Sir Patrick Allen should be using his position to do and say. Let me say up front that I like Sir Patrick and having interviewed him, he is very likable. Lady Allen, your husband has a very sexy walk and frankly, I don't like to see him standing still. He has a swagger that I think is very sexy. But last week, Sir Patrick thanked Earl Witter for his time as public defender. And you know the God's truth is that he should not be thanked. He was almost useless in the post. And the letter he wrote about then acting public defender Mutundo Makulu made him a meddlesome, useless old you-know-what. Instead, Sir Patrick, you should have spoken the truth and told him that Jamaica could not wait for his time to end, and the nation was waiting to see if he would be fired. You should have said, good riddance, old man, because no one can do you anything, and government will still have to fund King's House. So I'm sticking to truth speaking. In the midst of the attack and murder of journalist and cartoonist at Charlie Hebdo in France, Pope Francis said no one should disrespect another person's religion or that person's God. Pope Francis is perfectly right. For I cannot imagine what would possess anyone to caricature the Prophet Muhammad bending over with a sex toy in his rectum. That is just plain offensive, obnoxious, and tasteless even to the devil. Why don't you draw a picture of Jesus like that? Oh, you don't want to upset Christians, but you want to upset Muslims. Well, upset them you did, but you upset the fundamentalists, the lunatic arm of Muslims. And look what happened. A massacre. The act was cruel, vulgar, brazen, and downright evil. However, Muslims in France are treated pretty much like how blacks are treated in the United States and United Kingdom, and much like how the Palestinians are treated by Israel. Yet the vast gathering of world leaders in France were more concerned about the barbarity of the murders, and yes, they should, but no one said Charlie Hebdo should be scolded. Well, I'm saying it. Journalistic freedom comes with a huge responsibility. Word to Erica's edge. I'm sorry, Charlie Hebdo. You abdicated your responsibility and paid an unnecessary price in blood. Then the journalistic analysis got more and more ridiculous when the U.S. media in particular thought that President Barack Obama would make a pretty picture with the rest of the world leaders. They must have forgotten that President Obama is black. In his own country, he is still thought of as house nigger, doorman, or parking attendant. So what the hell should he be doing in this crowd? Many of the world leaders gathered in France, they are rulers of countries that are responsible for much of the world's wars and the vast inequities that exist in this unsafe world. Need I say more? So I ached. I am appalled. I remonstrated. I am hurt. But I'm not Charlie Hebdo. And I challenged the magazine to caricature the gay community the way it does the Prophet Muhammad. Do that and see what happens. Until next week, stay close to the edge.